Yep, so my battery's gonna die. I'm gonna make this one short. But the biggest currency here is your emotions, your attention. Because um, it's an emotional game. See, a lot of people think that the biggest currency here is money. And physically, um, because of the belief behind it, uh, we play the game like that, you know what I'm saying? But, but in reality, the real currency is your emotions. With your emotions, you control your energy. And when you control your energy, you are more powerful. Because to be power, you need energy. The more energy you have, the more power you have. And when you can, when you can harness enough energy, you can create your reality a lot easier. And then now, there's going to be the strength of you being able to hold a focus long enough. Uh, visualization. The visualization is something that became difficult through time. You get what I'm saying? But you'll notice that when you're in meditation, automatic visualizations may come into your mind. Let's say if I'm gardening for a long time, I may just see images of the grass, but it's like so clear, like real clear. But you want to be able to put imagery in there without it just coming in automatically. You want it to purposely do it. But in order for you to do that, the same way, since I said since I'm gardening for long enough, I'm able to see these images so clear in my head, you can use pictures. And that's what technology is beautiful for. You can Photoshop yourself in whatever state you are in, you want to be in. Um, and you can visually look at that and be so present with it, enjoying the process that you'll notice that when you go into a meditation, you can put yourself in that state purposely because you've looked at it long enough. The same way when I look at the garden long enough, I'm automatically just seeing grass and certain bugs and whatnot. And, you know, and it's basically because I'm out here for so many hours doing that. That when I go in there, I'm, I don't even put them in there. They just pop up and I'm just, but I, I stay with it. You know why? Because it's still strengthening my, my visualizations doing that. But when you immerse yourself so much into it, you start to automatically do that. But you want to purposely be able to do it. So if you take the wheel, visualize something long enough, you can actually start to picture it in your mind very, very lucidly. But it's not, see, there's a difference between thinking and literally visualizing. So you don't want to think. It's vi basically, there's, there's an imagery going on and you're playing the movie and it's going into a flow state you hear what i'm saying it's so it's kind of hard to explain but um i've done it because of the gardening it's hard to do if you know what i'm saying if, if you haven't practiced but i've been practicing and it's gotten a little bit better this is why i'm talking about it because it's actually something i've tried to put into practice and it's it's working okay um this is why when you, let's say if you work in a job long enough, do you notice how you dream and you still dream that you're still working? That's because you train yourself spiritually like that as well. So you want to train yourself spiritually along with not only visualizing yourself for some type of success or whatnot, but it's also training yourself spiritually so that if you was to happen to die tomorrow, okay, you're able to have such a strong focus that you won't disintegrate or pulverize like when Thanos snaps his finger, you won't pulverize into the nothing. You'll basically be able to hold your focus long enough to be in the heaven that you created. That's that's what I wanted to say in this video. All right. The battery's going to die. So, uh, you know, we'll talk soon.